Hey guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a music keyboard with Arduino. A few videos back, if you remember, I made a video on how to make music with Arduino using the piezo buzzer. Now I'm using that concept to add buttons to it to make a sort of music keyboard. <laughs> So if right now, if we look at um, the schematic that's on the screen, you're going to find at the end of each resistor, you are going to see a red wire that goes to one of the ground lines on the half size breadboard. Well, that in fact is for the, is for where the leg of the resistor is going to extend to. Speaking of resistors, you're going to need an in-between 1K and 10K ohm resistor. So now that you know a bit about it and you've wired up your schematic, let me show you what each thing sounds like. Those are what all the buttons sounds like. And now let's go through the code and after this I'm going to play a fun little song. Okay, so here in the code, in the first line I put int buzzer pin equals 8. So it's declaring that the buzzer pin, the one that the button is connected to, that is equal to 8. And then these are what pin the buttons are connected to. So the fifth button is connected to 3, fourth button is connected to 4. Uh, third button's connected to five. Second button is connected to six. First button's connected to seven. So these are just the declarations of them. And then I put in pin mode, the buzzer pin is output because it's going to be outputting the speaker level. And here in pin mode, first button, second, third, fourth, and fifth button, they're going to be input because these are just going to be input on it's going to be receiving something. Pin mode 13 output, I put that there just in case you want to play around with it and um, add an LED to your um, wires so you know how that would look like. So if an int first value is going to digitally read the value of the first button. Same with the second value, it's going to read the digitally read the value of the second button. And I think digital read, not analog read or read because this is on the digital side of the Arduino board. And if it's on the digital side of the Arduino board, we're going to use digital read. <clears throat> so now in, in the if else statement here, first value, if first value is high, so if the first um, button is pressed, tone buzzer pin 659.26200 this will get, this is one of the notes i used for my buttons and so for these these are the other ones but if you want the full code that you can look at uncompressed it, there is on, on my website i'm going to have there's a full section for it and even that you need to watch this video to find out these numbers because these are the numbers I used for the notes and you won't be able to find them on my website. So 587.33 is this one. Uh, 523.25, 783.99, 698.46. And if you don't know what these, number mean, these numbers mean, I'm going to have a link in the description to a video of my how to make music with Arduino where I explain all this. And so now that's basically all the code. 